Hello, welcome back. So, let me introduce this new playlist that we're working in. So, it's called Mesh Ed 101, Mesh in Education, okay, with Wolf Dynam. And this playlist just dedicated is this little corner that I want to have here in the internet to talk about meshing and everything related to mesh and I always say that I can talk for hours, hours, days and weeks about this so hopefully this is, this will be that that space that we will have to address anything related to meshing not only simulation, meshing is all around many fields we have it we can have it 3D printing, people working on that and getting those STLs also for solid modeling, people doing movies, animations and develop new characters and poles and so we will try to address that so before introducing a little bit this list just we want to to invite you you know to, to join our channel so you can subscribe or you can join the channel so to help us uh, to motivate us to create more more material so if you join the, the channel just play, pay a small fee okay so you can see the instruction but this one is a, it's a nice motivation and you will get access to extra perks like priority videos we can listen to to request and answer some questions any case let's move now to the mid of this so basically we are going to address since social you know, volume and surface meshing this is a very wide topic and i say this is not only simulations in cfd or not only specific to a one very uh, unique method such as finite volume so there are different techniques as you do finite difference finite elements finite volumes or spectral methods there are, you have even meshless method that they claim they don't use it but behind that you have something okay this, uh, as you are using this continuous gallery methods and high order meshes so this will be a space to talk about that okay there are many tools available commercial and an open source we are not targeted to a specific one we might be probably have a bias towards one and some topics but we will try to address and use many tools so we're going to address sense social business standard practice tips tips and tricks how to videos okay so there, 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 there are a lot of tutorials involved and we're open to suggestions you want to address something very specific we don't know everything but we can learn in the process of doing so so we're going to use commercial tools as i say such stuff so also in oba ansys meshing tools now so there is a complete ecosystem there like ice the fluid meshing uh, ansys meshing point ones and many more okay but these are the only the most general tools the ones that we we deal very well with those tools that's also there are many open source tools we have the whole ecosystem and open for it's not the x motion so it's all their tools that i never use then cf mesh g mesh step gen salome mesh kit mesquite those two are particular are nice i really like those are more for mesh manipulations okay and many more tools okay related now to surface mesh manipulation also we're going to do a little bit now repairing those stls for those working in stls i'm going to stress a lot in this video that you need to own the geometry so this is not only uh, surface and volume meshes you need to get also what is behind that which is the geometry okay so uh tools here to do this repair now is mesh mixer blender and all but there are many tools so we're going to see how to to deal with those dreaded surface triangulation so there is a lot of stuff involved okay also we're going to do you now some mesh smooth and sounds there are some tools to do <clears throat> to address that so talking about that it's not only mentioned you have behind that much or, or below that mesh you have you know the cat and solid model so we're going to try to do this we, we are we already have done a lot of videos about cat so but we, let's retake it and do that and just to show you the importance of owning your geometry before going to the volume mesh stage for those doing cfd numerical simulations if you are doing some other <coughs> some other tasks you know like modeling and animation and stuff like that using blender also it's important to have those tools but there there is more flexibility it's not as as a, <coughs> as a strict as for cfd simulation so here we're going to address tools same similar as this we talked about it previously there are songs that let you do many things but here we have on check fusion 3d space clean salome freak up blender and so on blender i have been you know, i recall that i used it a long time ago but now i'm retaking again and using that and i have seen a lot of changes and it's quite impressive what you can do with that okay in blender and doing that also to creating characters and animating posts you know you have a figure you change how they are 
or the legs, the position, fingers and so on. That is something that you can do blended and you can also take it into your simulations and do your animation. So we're going to address that, okay? Reverse engineering, okay, your surface meshes so you can have a triangulation. Something that can come from some, you, you can use those cloud points you no know, using lasers and do that reverse engineer and then just bring them back into your computer and create for that your cat so there are specific tools that they like to do that as I mentioned some morphing and pulsing solid models using blender and there is this new tool cascador I recommend you it's a crazy tool that has done some crazy stuff but more into the film and industry yeah as you know to create those visual effects you need to have many times those meshes and so on so also this for those doing 3d printing you have those stl so they have some requirements so a lot of things to do okay as you see meshing is not only you now getting those triangles of whatever element you are using there is a lot behind that and why not also doing some scientific scientific visualization rendering and ray tracing that is related to everything that we're doing so as i say it's not only your cfd simulation many things can be done okay so this will be our small corner and space to address these topics and well this is the end of this introduction if you want to keep in contact with us here you have my my email also our website so you can feel free to to visit our website or join our youtube channel so thank you and i hope to to see you in many, many videos to come. So bye and take care.